Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. Hola, 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 y como estas? Muy bien, muy bien, y espero que tú también. Hello, Orange and Friends. Hello, Anne. Hello, Reina in the morning, and to Linda and Maria in the afternoon. I sure do miss you guys. And hello to all of my upside down friends. Oh my goodness. Let's see, today, hello Vicki, and Sadie, and Olivia, and Lucy, and Micah, and Maeve, and Madison, and Caitlin, and Henry, and Eva, and Iman, and Desmond, and Ben, and Ariane, and Ari, all in our afternoon class. And hello to William, and Seamus, and Bella, and Mariana, and Kareem, and Nora, and Nick, and Maya. And Juliana, and Jet, and Jasper, and Ilan, and Emily, and Clara, and Carolyn, and Santiago. <gasps> Santiago, is, is today a special day? Hmm. They're all in our morning class, so hello to everybody there. Now, let's turn this over. And we have our calendar. And we have, we are running out of room on this thing. So see if we can figure out what today is. So it is April, and yesterday it was Wednesday, and it was the 29th. So we need to come figure out what comes after Wednesday, and what comes after 29th. So let's do our song, shall we? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Did I raise my hand on Thursday? All right, so after 29, we've had 29, 29 days. That's pretty impressive. So let's count and see what comes after 29. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, did you guess 30? Hmm. Wait a minute. Where? Oh. Oh. The number is all the way under the bed. Now, what am I going to use to reach it to get it? Hmm. Well, we have this spoon. Is it going to... Is it going to come out like this, or maybe do I need to get something sticky on it so it'll stick to it? Hmm. What if I take this piece of tape right here, and I make it a loop so it's sticky on the outside, and I stick it on the back, like that. And then what if I stick the tape to the spoon? I put that, put like that, right there. So it stays on the spoon, so it's nice and secure. You think that'll help? Let me see if I can go get it. I got it. Now, we are right. It's number 30. Let's see. Where is our number again? Okay, so we have a pattern, friends. Hmm. Rectangle, red square, red square, green square, rectangle. Rectangle, red square, red square, green square, rectangle. Rectangle, red square, red square, green square, rectangle. Red rectangle, red square, red square, green square, rectangle. Red rectangle, red square, red square, green square, rectangle. Rectangle, red square, red square, green square, rectangle. Do you know what? It is the very last day of April. So the next time you see my calendar, we will be in a new month. There are only 30 days in the month of April. And as I said before, it's a very special day for Santiago in our morning class. Do you know what? It's his birthday. So let's say happy birthday, Santiago. And let's put a red star on this day right here because we're not at school. So we can't mark our board at school. Um, 
our birthday board at school. So we'll mark this one and we'll give Santiago a red star for that. And Santiago, if you could let us know um, what you had for a birthday treat or an activity, that would be super fun to know. You could email your teachers or, or and, and we could get back to the class. So that would be fun. And um, uh, let's see. Now, where? Where's my... Okay, I'm looking for the mystery bag, but this is very weird. You have to see this. It's on my fan. Now, let's see. I don't know if I can reach it. I don't know. What can I use to reach it? Hmm. Well, I have a stick. Do you think this would work? Let's see. I don't know what's in it, so I gotta be careful when I take it down. Oh, got it. All right. Jeez. These things are all over the place today. All right, so let's find out. Let's see if we can get you a little lower. What's in the mystery bag? Who can tell? Maybe a bucket, maybe a bell. What's in the mystery bag? We can't see. It's a surprise for you and me. Hmm. Is it big or little? I think it's pretty little. Is it hard or soft? That sounds hard to me. All right, clue number one. Uh, it can be made of wood or plastic, and you squeeze it together. Wood or plastic, and you squeeze it together. Hmm. Well, hmm, I need another clue. Uh, it grabs hold of things. So it can be made of wood or plastic, and you squeeze it together, and it, and it can grab hold of things. Hmm. Hmm. What could it be? I, 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 I have no idea. All right. Ooh, clue number three. People hang laundry from them. Wait. So it's, it's little and it can be made of wood or plastic, and you squeeze it together, and it grabs hold of things, and you can hang your laundry from it. Could it be? Oh, it is, Orange Room Friends. Look, it's a clothespin. You can hang your, your laundry from it, and you can use them as chip clips. And you can hang your art from it, can't you? We do that in the, in the orange room. And do we use these um, clothespins to, for your, when you put your names on them? And they clip on to uh, that, that stick in the hall and we have our names on it. It's pretty interesting. It's very useful. So look, it's made. It has like a spring in here that's wound around that keeps it. Wah! Keeps it. So it'll hold together tight. That's tight on my finger. It's pinching it, right? So it uses a, it's a two pieces of wood. It has a spring in the middle. And the spring is connected to a more metal that holds the two pieces of wood together. So when it opens, it makes them spring back down. Pretty interesting. All right. So, um, here's another thing that holds paper. You've probably seen these clips that people use. So this is two pieces of metal and it has a strong piece of plastic in between that you open up and then you can clip like, I can hold onto this book with it if I want. These are used, that's kind of the same kind of grabber thing. Very, very interesting. Okay. So I'm going to read a story now. 
You keep all these little weird things in your head while I'm finding my books. Let's see. Okay. This is Richard Scarry's book called Francis Fixes It. It's her busy, Francis Fixit's busy day. Francis Fixit is always busy. People are always calling her. They say, please, Francis, fix this for me. Then Francis goes to fix it. There she is, right over there on the phone. Mr. Goat water pipes were leaking. He calls Francis, and she went and fixed them. She got a little wet. Let's see her right there, the pipes. A boat hit a rock and made a hole in the side of the boat. Frances fixed the hole. She can fix just about anything. Do you see her fixing it right there? A tire fell off the fire engine. Frances put it back. And Mrs. Cat's car would not go. The engine would not start. Frances turned the car over. Frances hit the engine with her hammer. And the engine started. Oh my goodness, she turned it over. Holy cow. <laughs> the policeman called Francis. His motorcycle would not go. You have no gas, said Francis. She put gas in the motorcycle. Then the policeman went after a car. It was going too fast. A street light would not work. Francis, is, Francis fixed it. Look out, look out, Francis. Uh -oh. Somebody went right into her because it was a, a stoplight, wasn't it? There was shouting on the train. The engine had jumped off the track. No one who tried to go, who tried could get it back onto the track, but Frances could. Look what she did. She used a machine to lift it back onto the track. Hmm, what kind of machine is that, Orange and Friends? Do you remember? Is that uh, levers? Maybe a pulley? Hmm. Frances stopped at the big pig at the pig's family house. She had to fix their television set. Mother Pig ran into the room. Help, help, she cried. My oven is doing something funny. I think it's gonna blow up. Uh-oh. So she fixed the TV set. Oh no, look at that oven. Uh-oh. Frances ran into the kitchen. The oven blew up. Mother had been making fudge. Now it was all over the kitchen. Can you imagine chocolate all over your kitchen? Francis had no time to fix that, fix up that mess. <laughs> it was time to go home, but Francis' truck had a flat tire and Francis had fudge on her hands. She had to call a tow truck. And when she got home, she took a bath. That's a long day. That is the end of our story about Francis fixed it. Fixed it. So, Orange and Friends. Um, you know, I've had to kind of figure out how to reach for things today. And I was kind of wondering if you guys could make some kind of a, 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 a thing, a, like, like a, some kind of a tool that would help reach for things or grab things. And um, so I have, let's see. So I showed you these, the clothespins, and they, and they grab things. And then I showed you how I used a stick to reach for something. Um, and I thought I could show you something else too. So like I have this, this piece of paper on the chair. And if I, if I, if I wanted to reach for it, I, maybe I could use like a kitchen tong to reach for it. Like that. Or maybe I could use this. This is actually for knitting. I put my yarn on here and wind it around and make it into a ball. It's pretty fun. But look what happens when I fold it up. I think it might be able to grab things. See how it ha it's connected here by a little fastener right here in the middle. So it's just two sticks in an X shape. See that X shape? And, but then they're all connected by strings at the end. Let's see if I can grab it. It's helping me reach just a little bit farther, right? 
So let's see if I can. I don't know if I can do it. Let's see. Can we can we trick? So, I'm wondering, what if you took sticks? Um, what if you took some cardboard and cut it into strips? Like, I just took um, this cardboard right here and I cut it into strips. And then I put holes in the middle and on the top. And I did the same thing on this one. And then I took this and I put string through it. <laughs> Uh, in, in through this one, put a little piece of string through it, and then I put another piece of string through it. And you could use pipe cleaners to do this, and what you want to do is you want to tie them. Oh, wait, I want it to go this way. So I'm putting it so, let's see, I'll show you that side in a minute. So I put them right through those holes, like this. And then I'm going to just tie it a knot right here. And then I have an X shape, just like that um, yarn winder I showed you. And if I use it like this, I might be able to pick things up. Now what, and then I can connect this one to this one, because I have these holes in the middle. And I can put string here. Let's see, where's my little string? String right through, connect these two together. Just tie a little knot right there. And then take another piece of string and put these two holes together. And Put this little piece of string through it. This is actually the yarn that I had left over. You could use string or yarn or pipe cleaners, or if you have these things called brads, you could use those. Um, and I don't have any, and you could ask your family what a brad is and see if they have any idea or have any in their office supplies. So look, now I might be able to reach. Let's see if I can get these to open and shut like that and then I might be able to pick something up with it. But I'll tell you this cardboard that I used is too thin so what do I have to do? I'm gonna have to try again and I can do that. I can use thicker cardboard and poke holes in the middle and make my X's and then connect my X's and see how because this could reach really far if it was sturdy sturdy cardboard nice and straight. So I could use that um, also, if I wanted to get, make some other kind of grabber, have you ever used these? These are, these are called chopsticks. And they come in this little package sometimes. And they're just made of wood or plastic. And you can put them in your fingers. And you can pick up food with them. And eat it with them. But sometimes that's really hard. So you could take this and you could roll it up. You could take this little wrapper and roll it up all the way. See how I'm rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling. My dad used to do this for me when I was a little kid so I could learn how to use chopsticks and hold them. And I'm gonna make my own grabber. So I rolled it up like this, it's about that thick, and I'm gonna stick it up towards one end in between the two sticks. See, it's right in between the two sticks. I'm going to just hold it there with one hand. And then I'm going to take this rubber band I have and I'm going to put it I'm going to put it around here. I'm going to put it around there in the in the front of that piece of paper, like right like that. And then I'm going to twist it and put it around the back. And then I'm just going to twist it around the back a bunch of times until it's not loose until it's nice and tight. Look at that. Now, uh, it's it's like it's a pincher, so it could grab things. It could grab things like, like uh, here, 
if you grab things like this piece of paper, if that, oops, grab that. If you grab a piece of broccoli on my plate and I could eat it, just pinch it and grab it and eat it. It might be able to grab something that's like behind the sofa that I can't reach. Um, you could do the same thing. You could roll up, you could take popsicle sticks and roll up a little piece of paper. I just used a post-it note. And you could put the, the paper in between the popsicle sticks and then uh, go around the, the bottom part once and then in the, and then go around, twist it and go around the back and twist it and twist it and twist it and twist it until it's tight. Oh, and look, another pincher. Like that. See? So there's only one on that side, and then I wound it on the other, on the top, on the back part, and that's what makes it pinch together. So I was thinking it'd be fun for you guys to make some kind of tool, and maybe you could send me a picture or an email with it, or a video of you making it. I love getting that stuff. So does Anne. So, um, I hope you guys have a really good day, and um, you know, uh, we're going to see each other next time. Let's see, so it's April 30th. Oh, we're going to see each other in May. Woohoo! That's so exciting. Okay, so I would like to say goodbye to everyone, and I hope you have a great day. Take care.